Mark. Left. 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 Right. Mark time. Mark. Right turn. Post. Colors. The exhibit displays the pictures of nearly 7,000 service members dating back to 9-11 who have lost their lives uh, during that campaign. Governor uh, Sandoval speaks frequently of wanting to be the most friendly state to veterans. It's my goal to be the most friendly county in that state to veterans. Always Lost began as a creative writing class project back in 2009. We spent the semester writing about war from all different perspectives, reading veteran writers. We watched the PBS special Operation Homecoming. And the class culminated in what we thought was going to be a three-week student art show at Western Nevada College in 2009. Much to our surprise, we started receiving inquiries for the exhibit to travel. You really have to look at the faces. And it's not a picture of what's around them, what's behind them. It's their face. And it, it gives you that opportunity to really look into the face of each one of these people. And I like the way it's randomly set up so that as you look for a specific name, you have the opportunity to read names of a lot of people. In 2003, the Dallas Morning News had two photojournalists, David Leeson and Cheryl Diaz Meyer, and they were embedded with Marine units in Iraq shortly after the invasion of Iraq. They won the Pulitzer Prize for their work in 2004, and so those are the 20 photographs that you see as part of the exhibition. As a member of the class, it was interesting because we had veterans in the class as well as what we call civilians in the class. And that mesh of us learning from each other was fascinating and that's where the, the literary work that came out of the class was. Freedom's not free. This country requires that all of us give our all for the country. And, and this shows us what people have done to keep this country free. And so it's heart-wrenching to look at some of those photos, but it's important to remember the history of how we came to be the great country that we are.